night, guys. Lord, it is a chilly fall night here. Good Lord, it is after midnight, so I guess it's technically Saturday morning, September 25th, 2021. I am back out in the Maggie May camper. I've got a uh, I've got folks in the tiny house for the weekend, so I'm back out here in the Maggie May and freezing my ass off since I moved the heater <coughs> into the tiny house. So anyway, and I also left my sleeping pills out in the tiny house. So I'm sitting here uh, at midnight tossing and turning, so I just thought I would sit here and, and ramble on for anyone who wants to hang out with me. Uh, so anyway, I've been watching I guess it's a four hour, uh, divided into four parts. It's four one hour shows on Netflix. One of these supposedly, I guess it's a true life documentary, a one of these courtroom true crime documentaries. I think the name of it might be The Monster Inside of Me, The 24 Faces of Billy Milligan. Or something like that. But anyway, uh, without getting into the details of the documentary, I've watched two of the four parts, and I do recommend it if you're as bored <coughs> with your life as I am with mine. But what it's about is about multiple personalities or split personalities, multiple personalities. What is the official term dissociative states and uh, anyway as some of you might be aware for the last oh two years or so <clears throat> and particularly since about June 1st of this year I have gotten really interested in the whole subject of I, I don't know borderline personalities and paranoia and schizophrenia and multiple personalities and all of these gray areas uh, it's a slippery slope when you're when you're sitting here trying to uh, figure out uh, somebody in your life shall we say that you're trying to figure out what exactly is going on with this person? Uh, and I have always been fascinated by this kind of subject. I don't know, maybe because my mama was a shrink. Uh, I remember in, um, in college being fascinated. I remember my abnormal psychology class was one of my favorite classes where we got to... Uh, dive into all of these, you know, these weird things that happen to people's brains and what the hell makes people tick. And I've always been fascinated uh, by this subject. I, rem I really love that movie in the book Sybil and the Three Faces of Eve. And uh, for some reason, I've always been fascinated by this, but I've never known uh, anyone who, anywhere on this continuum, until a couple of years ago, I met this new friend, and anyway, I was watching this movie, and it just reminded me of this story with, uh, the, this friend of mine, and in the movie, what it was, they were actually interviewing this guy's sister, about when she first started, she, when she first recognized that her brother, that there was something going haywire in his brain, and uh, the, the details of the story aren't important, but anyway, the, the details aren't so much important in the story, it's just the structure of the story, that he told her, and this is oversimplifying it, you can, you can watch the documentary and find this uh, yourself, but anyway, 
the gist of it is this, is that I guess they were like teenagers, and he was a year older than her, so maybe he was 15 and she was 14, somewhere along there, and he told her this story, basically, about something that had happened or something that was going to happen or whatever, but, but, but you know, told her a story involving him and it, it, it you know a detailed story not not just some passing comment but you know a detailed story so a couple of days later a day or two later she brings up what he had uh he brings up to her he, he, you know uh she brings up to him this story that he had told and it's just like you know what what's going on you know just to get an update on the story again this is oversimplifying it and he looks at her like what are you talking about i have no idea what you're talking about i never said anything like that why would i have ever told you a story like that and she's going Okay, so one of us is crazy. Either I imagined th that story that you told me, and I'm the one crazy, or you're the one. One of us is crazy. And so, uh, and, and just the way she was recounting that story, it reminds me, and a couple of you have heard the the full version of this story. Again, I'm not going to sit down and it, it's a great story. It really is a great story. I mean, it's a funny as hell story, whether it was made up, whether it really happened or not, and I don't know. And so anyway, this friend of mine, it's, it's not my story is the reason that I can't tell the story. It would be, uh, it, it, it didn't happen to me, this I'm, I'm telling this. This was a secondhand story. This was a story that was told to me, that tangentially involved me as a character, although I was unaware that I was a character in this story. But anyway, uh, the the details of the story are are not what is important here. So my friend. It was a it, it was a, uh, a a pretty much a a new friendship. I had not known this person for very long, and uh, so the the story it, it has a lot of backstory behind it that did involve me. So there was something that I did that was misinterpreted by, you know, I told a story on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, okay, and, and the person hearing it uh, misinterpreted the story, you know, one of these things, one of these comedy of errors, so this person, uh, my friend, misunderstood the the story that I told that that was the first problem uh, and and so anyway that story that I told set off this chain of events and and uh, unbeknownst to me set off this chain of events in my friend's life if they had just called me and said, you know, that story you told, what would, you, you know, this whole thing could have been prevented. But anyway, it's not important. It, it set off this hilarious chain of events. But one of the things, just one of the things that happened in this Kafka-esque tale of, of miscommunication and uh, misadventure was that my friend's car broke down. All right. So, my friend's car broke down was one of the details of this very complicated story. Okay, 
Uh, I mean, it would take me 30 minutes to recount the story, but my friend can tell it a hell of a lot better than I can. It really is a funny damn story, so maybe I'll, I'll get my... Uh, uh, we'll get my friend to tell this story sometime. We shall see. So anyway, it's October. And a couple of years ago, I specifically remember it being uh, late October. My friend telling me this very funny story that involved one of the details. The only one that, that's relevant here is that one of the things that was set off by this was was their car broke down. Okay, so now fast forward to March. So November, December, January, February. So five months later, uh, I'm talking to this friend on the phone. Okay, and somehow I bring up this story, this very detailed, complicated, five-part harmony story uh, that they had told me uh, in, you know, back in October. I, I, I brought up that story just because I thought it was a funny story, and my friend goes, Hambone, what are you talking about? That I never told you, you know, what the hell are you talking about? And 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 I said, what are I, I, I said? You mean to tell me you're sitting here saying that this whatever happened never never happened to you i said this a b and c i i mentioned the car breaking down and my friend said hambone yes i do remember uh, my car breaking down you know like you described uh, but that had absolutely nothing on any level to do with you or, or this whole thing you're mentioning. I mean, so when, when, my, when I was talking to my friend on the phone, it's not like uh, I, I know exactly what this dude's sister. Uh, I probably, I'm sure I had the same look on my face. Did this person that I was talking to on the phone, my friend, who had told me this long, complicated story uh, five months earlier, clearly had zero recollection uh, of this. And, and, and I don't mean that this person that I was talking to in March was just someone who had forgotten something that had happened five months ago. Uh, it, you know, it's not like this person is senile or anything. It, 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 we're, we're not talking uh, about somebody who had forgotten something. We're not talking about someone who had forgotten some details, either either I had forgotten some, you know, a couple of details and they had forgotten a couple of details. I am telling you, the person that I was talking to, my friend that I was talking to on the phone was not the same person who told me this long involved story. Uh, five months earlier, I, I, I was clearly talking to a different human being. The person that I was talking to uh, on the phone, the reason they had zero memory other than, uh, other than remembering the car breaking down, uh, uh, other than that detail, remembering their car breaking down in October, uh, the, the person I was talking to on the phone w w was simply a different person than I was talking to in October. 
It, it, it was beyond forgetting something. It was it, it, it was two different people uh, I, I was talking to. You know, it, 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 was, it was the same voice. I mean, obviously, it, it was the same human being I was talking to. But, but, I, I, but, but I was talking to two different personalities. This person in March clearly uh, was completely dissociated from uh, whoever the hell it was that, that I was talking to in... Uh, five months earlier and uh it's it's just <laughs> and, and of course uh this uh, you know it's, it's like every time uh it, it's like every damn time uh i meet up with this person i i never know who the hell uh th that i'm going to be meeting up with uh You know, I was just uh, just joking around with my friend. You know, uh, so so my friend wants me to wants me to come down and visit. You know, uh, you know, saying, "Hey, on, come down and visit." And I'm saying in the in my comment uh, to my friend, I got no comment back. Was you know, how do I know who I'm going to find when I get there? Uh, like, like every time I visit you, uh, I, I, I never know uh, which damn personality uh, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm going to run into. And, uh, watching the, you know, watching this. And, and now, of course, a lot of people... Uh, are, are claiming, at least in this documentary, that this dude is, is, is bullshitting, that uh, he's just trying to get off of a, of a serious crime. And uh, he, well, I don't want to be a, do a spoiler alert, whether the, you know, pleading insanity that uh, the, you, you know, the nice guy this nice guy would never have committed uh, the, these violent crimes. It was somebody else who committed these crimes. I didn't commit this crime. I, I, I don't know who the hell committed the crime, but it wasn't me. And it gets into this, you, you, you know, this whole can of worms on these insanity defenses. Uh, especially with uh, violent crimes, you, you know, getting off uh, off on an insanity defense. What what does that mean for the victims? Uh, anyway, um, I just find this this whole subject fascinating, and so I'm lying here, and. You know, with my with my own vivid imagination, you know, look at me. I'm a fucking fictional character. You know, I've got uh, I've got uh, several personalities in me, like that phone call I made uh, to that nice woman Dagmar. You know, clearly the person who made that phone call. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, uh, w would not have believed uh, that, that I would have made that phone call. We, we all, you know, as these shrinks say, you know, they, they, and of course they interview a bunch of shrinks in this documentary talking about multiple personality. Now, all of us have different facets of our personality. I mean, obviously we swing, any one of us, uh, depending on the mood we're in, uh, blah blah blah. We all have mood swings and uh, and and that kind of stuff. It's just it's just that you know these these dissociative personalities they just swing so far. And, and, and so I'm lying here after watching this and just wondering, uh, you, you know. Do I have multiple personalities? Are, are, are there people living inside my head? 
Uh, there, there's this guy, Sam Mitchell. There's this dude, Hambone Littletail. Uh, there, there's probably a few others uh, that you guys have never even met. Uh, do I have some literal other personalities living in my brain that I am completely unaware of? And, and obviously, it, if you're unaware of your other personalities, I don't know. Do I have, a, do I have six different YouTube channels? Uh, am, 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 am I, 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 I don't know. Am, uh, you know, and this dude, uh, he was a 21-year-old uh, uh, man, and it doesn't make any difference. You can have male personalities. You can have female per like, like he Like one of his personalities was like a four-year-old girl. Uh, you can have personalities from other nationalities. You know, he was... He was this English guy. He was this Romanian guy, uh, you know, speaking in all of these different voices, uh, just com you know, un completely unaware. <coughs> it's just it, it, anyway, the human condition. So. Uh, Anyway, if you're interested in this, I do highly suggest anybody trying to figure out whether they uh, have multiple personalities. If, if you're wondering yourself whether you're borderline personality, whether you're schizophrenic, or whether you might have, uh, whether you might have. Uh, multiple personalities and, and uh, maybe you're wondering why your friends uh, are, 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 are thinking you're batshit crazy. Uh, maybe you can learn something by this documentary. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but uh, one thing about batshit crazy people, they're not normies, y y you know. There, there's, a, there's a lot worse things than being batshit crazy. Uh, being batshit crazy is not necessarily a pejorative term. I, you know, how many times do you hear the old saying, you know, anybody that's not batshit crazy, uh, what's going on on this planet, you would have to be fucking batshit crazy not to be batshit crazy. The, 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 bat, the most batshit craziest people on the fucking planet uh, are, 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 are the normies that aren't batshit crazy. So embrace your, your batshit craziness. Uh, it's, a, it's probably a sign of, uh, uh, of being a perfectly good coping mechanism. You're probably coping better than 99% of the planet. Uh, by having 12 different fucking personalities. Uh, anyway. Well, that's that story. I was thinking of telling uh, or retelling the story of my adventures on the Del Rio, Texas Bridge. You know, where all those Haitian migrants are. Uh, I've told the story before, but uh, I'm going to go toss and turn for another hour or so. So if I'm still tossing and turning here in an hour, I'll come back and tell the story of uh, my adventure on the Del Rio, Texas Bridge. That's another story for another day. Buenas noches, all my batshit crazy friends. This is batshit bone. Saying, bye guys. <laughs>